Alrighty then, uh, sometimes I repair laptops. Uh, if you look closely at the cursor, can you see it jerking around? And all I would do is put one finger on it and it's jerking around. You might be able to see it moving up and down. Uh, I'm going to try and put it in the line there. Yeah, I think you can see it jumping around. Now what's happening there is there's a delicate capacitator that is failing. It's obviously dried up a little bit from lack of use. Let me just show you here. Um, if I touch a metallic part of this, the cursor is now working fine. Totally fine. And jerky and fine, jerky, fine, and all I'm doing is touching the metallic part of the keyboard where you didn't see that, now this is a bit hard to film, so, um, jerky, fine, jerky, still, jerky, still, look close at your video if you don't believe me, if you're seeing this on Dell 5040 range, uh, to one of the Toshibas, um, usually happens with an out touch pad. Um, the problem is a capacitor. Capacitor, it's not uh, absorbing um, um, uh, uh, over voltage properly, and a cheap uh, charger and a cheap Chinese charger as well. Um, you don't risk. Obviously, obviously you don't risk short electrocuting yourself. It just means that the um, uh, frequency signals that the ch replacement charger gives off are high, not low, it's all it's just made in a different way, probably cheaper way, perhaps it doesn't have a voltage regulator inside it. Um, and uh, it seemed to be a little bit of, um, let me get back to a, a good demonstration, it's very, very hard to demonstrate because you can't see everything, so that's, that's perfectly working and it's jumping. Anyway, I've proved it. You prove it for yourself. On these N5040 laptops, the keyboard comes up really easily. You've just got a button there to push. Um, you don't need any tools. See, there's a button here, and here, and here, and here. That's it. You open them with a little flathead screwdriver very gently, and that's it. Um, the other thing is, you can do unplug the power supply. Um, and again, the cursor is working fine. The touchpad works fine. Plug the power supply back in. And you've got the shaky thingy. Uh, solution to this problem, buy an original Dell um, charger or buy a, a, um, a charger that advertises as an onboard, onboard voltage regulator, which you probably can't do, so you have to buy the original Dell charger or a jack. But you don't have to get a new laptop. Alrighty then, bye-bye now.